Hello folks, my name is Rojo and welcome back to Dark Souls 3. When we last left off, we had just killed uh, the consumed King Osiris, who uh, kind of looked a little bit like Seath, uh, kind of a scaleless pale drake situation happening. Uh, but we got some souls, so we better go and spend those before we lose them, because um, we have a bit more to explore in this area. And uh, it would be a shame to lose more souls. For no good reason. So, Welcome up. let us no level up here. Happy. Let's get, um, I, I don't know, probably, probably a little bit more luck, maybe. Ah, yeah, well, our damage is, we're doing okay on damage. Could be a little bit better. Um, but we kind of probably want to get some HP, too. So, I think we're going to get some HP. Farewell, and uh, we'll probably go back to luck uh, later. Kind of just want to get to that, I think. Yeah, like 27 bigger breakpoint. Um, go back to here. Uh, but yeah, we're going to see what's beyond that door. Uh, before we go and explore Lothar Castle itself. Because uh, there could be some cool stuff back here. Who knows? So dramatic. All right, what do we got? 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 As you know, what I, also I was just thinking, um, since we can guard break, we actually could put on the shield of want instead of grass crest, um, or sorry, no, that's that's silver eagle. That's the wrong shield. Uh, shield of want. Oh, we don't have enough strength, do we? Ooh, we need a lot of strength. All right, never mind. Um, because uh, the soul boost would be nice. I was thinking, but uh, I guess uh, we'll just stick with this. We've got, um, guys kind of look like pilgrims, but not quite. Not quite. Got, uh, the wraps over their heads, but... Got, um, what appear to be fangs and an actual face under there. Oh, speaking of. What's up, buddy? Just standing there looking at me. Yeah. Very curious, these guys. You dead. You are, I guess you're dead. Okay. So what have we got back here that is so important that would be guarded by a boss? Well, first off, Path of the Dragon. Does that look uh, familiar to you? Because it looks kind of familiar to me. Hmm. Maybe uh, we'll discover what that's about in a future episode. Try a lift, but be wary of back. <laughs> Nicely done, sir. Nicely done. What do we got over here? No fog wall ahead. This is true. This is true. However, we have a chest here. This chest contains another Titanite scale. That's pretty good. Um, but something doesn't... I don't know. There's a lot of messages here. It feels like, I don't know, there's just not enough here, you know what I mean? So what if, I don't know, what if there, what if there was more here, though? Like that. Huh, how about that? <laughs> this guy gets it. Oh no, you're supposed to go through it! You go through it! No! I gotta write him a message, quick, quick! Write him, write him a message! Uh, no, that's not the right button. Message, template, uh, be wary of, um... Da 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 actions. Da 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 destroy. Go. You can do it. I, I like my messages to be a little cryptic. <laughs> um, because it's a little bit more fun that way to let people sort of read the message and then try and figure out what you're talking about. Um, it's a bit of a drop, but I think we can make it. There is a bonfire there, but we got spook. We don't need to take any risks here. Ha ha. The untended graves. Hmm. Now things are getting a little bit interesting. Let the bonfire. And let's use the bonfire. Okay. So what have we got down here? Does this... Hmm. Well, we'll just keep going. A shriving stone. We uh, will never use one of those. We don't need them. Hang on a minute now. 
Hang on a minute now. Hmm. You see that. And then over here, we've got some, uh... I don't remember what they're called. Grooves or something. <laughs> These guys are a little bit tougher than uh, your average bear. That's okay, though. If I can get this guy, it'll make my life just a little bit easier. And we'll back up a bit and let this guy come out so that we can deal with him as well. He's gonna fly, I think. There we go. I think we may uh, stick with Henri's sword uh, for the rest of the game here. Um, at least most of the rest of the game. Just because, uh, I don't know, it feels, it feels right. Um, after we drove that ceremonial sword through her face. Uh, <laughs> sort of a symbolic thing, I guess, for, for us. Ashen Estes Ring. Hmm. Does probably what you would think. Once a treasure brought before the uh, uh, brought before a Lothric's queen, she had it enshrined in the cemetery of untended graves, so that one day an unkindled might profit from its use. So she seems to be aware of and on the side of the unkindled, which is interesting. But what's more interesting is there's this body here, right? But does this area look familiar to you? Because it looks familiar to me. Very, very fami familiar. Let's keep exploring, shall we? Got, uh... Some kind of fountain there. Soul of a Crestfallen Knight's pretty good. Uh, we should have... Oh, we got some dogs over here. Take care of those. Oh, ow, ow, ow. My face. <laughs> All right, let's get our shield up here for a sec. This is not going swimmingly as, uh, as you can plainly see. There we go. Somebody just hit them. Oh, it's a Grave Warden. I guess it makes sense that a Grave Warden would be here. We've, uh, we've already got his swords, so uh, we don't need to worry about that. Ooh, that could be bad. Let's uh, S this up a little bit here. Take it easy. Oh, there's two of them. How rude. Oh my god, so much damage. Alright, we gotta deal with one of these guys. Oh, well, so much for that. <laughs> I have no idea where that other guy came from. I didn't even see him. Well, that'll... That'll, uh... Be another death in the old death column. Yeah, still 99 hollowing. Not uh, surprised there. I guess we'll ember back up here. I don't know if we really need to ember, but, um... Cause I'm not sure if there's an invader out here or not. What is this? What is it? What's this? What's this all about? Be wary of swamp. We are in a swamp, I suppose. So we've already went that way. We don't need to go that way again. This time, let's be a little bit more cautious, I suppose. Ah, for example, of this gentleman here. That's the guy who uh, snuck up on us, I'm sure. He's got uh, some poise on that, uh, that one attack there. <laughs> These bleeding attacks are doing a number on us. That's okay, though. Get the fuck out of here, you little bitch. There we go. Holy shit. A little bit harder than it had to be. <laughs> there we go. Now the other one's gonna come out. Probably just parry this guy. If, uh, if I can get a little... little Timing action correct here. Hmm. It's not going well. Can't seem to Estus and then, like, back up in, in any reasonable amount of time. Alright. No. Enough of this shit. Holy Christ. He's got a lot of poise. A lot of poise. Surprising amount of poise. There we go. So he is now deceased. We've got, uh... The dog still to deal with, so we shall do so. Actually, only one of them this time, which actually makes our life... a lot easier. Strong attacks actually, uh, knock him back, which is... maybe good? Probably? Probably good. 
Okay, back here we've got... And if, let's see, hmm. Yeah, we can run through here. Let's see what we got over here. We've got... Crystal uh, Lizard Guy, a big one. Let's, uh, let's see here. We've got a couple of them, actually. Well, let's uh, get one of them to come over here, I guess. That's right. Roll on over, buddy. Oh, he uh, got me when he came out of the uh, the thing there. The, uh, the roll. I'm gonna have to fight both of them now, which is a little bit of a problem. Can't... <laughs> can't quite get up that hill there. I think the crystals just do some damage. I don't think they curse or anything, so... That is good. I don't know if they can get through here. Oh, yep, they sure can get through here. Not going to be able to uh, get the stagger attack on that guy, unfortunately. Not even sure how the other guy got over there. <laughs> Need to... There we go. Almost got one of them here. This is going to make a big difference in our survivability chance. There we go. And let's see if we can just dodge this guy. There we go. Good stuff. We fought these guys a hundred times before, so we should be pretty okay here. Got a little greedy there. That's all right. He's going to die. Oh, there's an item here. Titanite Chunk could be useful later. Right now, we're actually primarily concerned with... Uh, Getting four more pieces of Twinkling uh, Titanite. Let's see. Anybody else over here or are we done? Seems like we are done. Let's check in to see if there are any, uh, any items laying around. Doesn't seem like it, so I guess we can leave. All right. So now, I think we just, uh, oh, well, there's an item over there. I was going to say we just bang a right, but uh, I guess we can come up here and see uh, what we've missed. Another dog. Of course it's another dog. Another Titanite chunk, though. That's pretty good. And it looks like that is going to be it. Okay. So now, I guess we just go this way. There's nowhere, really nowhere else for us to go, actually. Be wary of gorgeous view. Uh-huh. Yep. <laughs> sort of. Oh, Dark Spirit, daughter of Crystal Crimehild. So there is an invader here. Good to know. We should get a rapier, too. Or no, I think that's an s stock even. Bye-bye. <laughs> Good times. Now, uh, we may have to return here to actually get the, uh, any gear that you might have dropped. I'm not sure. Come on now, you're not going to hit me with that. Ooh, but this guy, this sneaky guy. Look at this. Look at that. The ambushes are real. We better come down here and deal with these gentlemen, like so. Oh, I, uh, <laughs> shield goes uh, in the front. Doesn't work very much, uh, doesn't work very well if you turn your back, so. Probably keep that in mind for next time. There we go. Ooh, just barely avoided that arrow. <laughs> I knew it was coming. I wasn't sure if we could get out of the way or not. You guys don't seem very strong, do they? Don't seem very strong. However, if you haven't figured out where we are by now, you will figure it out in about two seconds. Does this seem familiar at all? Because it does seem familiar to me. Extremely very familiar. Somebody is still alive over there shooting crossbow bolts. How is this how is this possible? I'm taking that. Not sure where the other guy is. 
Large, deserted, what a desecrated corpse, summon corpse? We can summon Swordmaster here. Uh, I guess we might as well real quick. I don't know that there's any need for us to do so. You know what we ought to do? We ought to come down here and just do, uh, oh, well, that guy's already dead, isn't he? In that case, we'll do this. A little plunging attack on that gentleman. Good times, good times. All right. Oh, yeah, there's a guy up here. Get him, Swordmaster. Oh, double teamed. Get the fuck out. So yeah, the Untended Graves seems like a uh, kind of a direct copy of the very, very first area of the game, doesn't it? <laughs> okay, let's not die to this guy, though. That would just be embarrassing. Now, we're pretty low on Estus, so I don't think I'm going to go uh, fight this, uh, this boss here. But, is there another summon sign here? There is. That is a player, though. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna go fight this boss, but I'm just gonna homeward bone and then run through here and we'll, uh, we'll be able to, to come back pretty quickly, I think. So, uh, oh, I can't, oh, right, I can't homeward bone because I have, uh, this guy following me around, so let's get rid of him. Got some souls to spend, got quite a few souls to spend, in fact. So, uh, we shall... Spend them. All right. Welcome. Level up. Let's uh, get uh, one more point of vigor, I guess. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. One more point of vigor, and we'll be good uh, for maybe the rest of the game. <laughs> so. That will be, uh, that'll be nice. So let's go back to the Untended Graves. You can see it's actually in, uh, this very first set of, uh, waypoints as well. Alright, Untended Graves. We're back, and we are going to try to skip as much as we can here. Um, I, <laughs> namely these Grave Wardens, because they are fucking assholes. Come up here, we can probably get away with that. Oh, there's one up here. Okay. Never mind. <laughs> probably got to deal with this dog, though. A little bit surprised I didn't get the, uh, the stagger there, but uh, that's okay. He is deceased. And he's giving us large titanite. That is, uh, it's something, all right. All right, I think we've successfully uh, gotten away from all the Grave Wardens, so that is good. Excuse me one second. Just had to shut my phone off because it was doing the old ring-a-ling on vibrate mode. Okay, so... I think if we just kind of run around this way... Oh, maybe we run around this way instead, actually. I take it back. <laughs> Almost got that guy. And now we can just run in here, pretty much. Alright, I missed. That's fine. That's fine. Who do we have here? Well, short answer is... Kind of looks familiar, like Gundir. Except this is Champion Gundir. He is way, uh, way, way, way angrier than other Gundir. I think we can still parry him, though. Don't want to get grabbed. Yeah, we can definitely still parry him. But, uh, yeah, this guy is, like, hyper-aggressive, very angry Grundir. So, uh, we need to be a little bit cautious here. Ow. Doesn't it hit super-duper hard, but hard enough. That, that hurts a lot, though. Alright, let's test this up here a little bit. He's got a serious kick. Here we go. Doesn't stay down very long either. Oof. All right. Man, that uh, that shoulder slam is brutal. 
Ow. I should have put on deep protection. Oh my god! Did you see that combo? <laughs> Unbelievable. Fucking knocked me up and then just fucking sidekicked me. <laughs> right into oblivion. Uh, I'm not gonna ember back up for this. I don't know that we're really gonna need to. Uh, we might need to. We'll see. We will see. I'm not sure the, uh, the Karthus Rouge is really gonna do all that much good for us. Um, only because it, uh, just doesn't seem to, uh... Oh my god, please no. Um, we don't seem to be able to get a ton of hits in in quick succession, so, um... That uh, is not ideal for uh, for bleed. Oh shit! There's two of them now, and we died. <laughs> well, there goes some souls. That's okay. That's okay. I'm still not gonna ember, but uh, I would like to just run by these guys if possible, so we don't have to worry about them. Maybe if we uh, fight the guy in the middle instead, we might have a little bit more success. Just come up here like so, and fight this gentleman instead. Oh, well, or we could just die. <laughs> Either way. Get the fuck out of here with those bullshit combos, my friend. Oh, we're stuck. <laughs> there we go. You are dead. Grave Warden Skirt, that's something. Oh, this guy pats around in that direction. Okay. Fuck you. Can't parry that, huh? Maybe we can. I just had my timing a little bit wrong. We're not going to need all of our Estus against Gundir, I don't th think. So I'm not really worried about using a little bit of Estus here, basically. Um, but we don't want to use too much more if we can avoid it, and we should be able to avoid it from here on in. All right. So we come up here, and then I think we... Maybe we could drop down there. I'm not sure what the best way to do this is. Could come down here, and then come around. Is that better? Probably not. It's probably better to go the other way, I think. So we're going to go ahead and, uh... Get deep protection ready here, because he's going to come at us pretty much immediately, I think. Guess we might as well use this while we got it. Alright, let's try again. That kick. I don't think we can parry the kick. Whoa, way too soon. No, no, don't try to do that. <laughs> It's an item over there. Hmm. Just trying to get a little bleed action going on here. There we go, there's a parry. And I think we got the bleed on that hit, so that's good. Now he gets wicked pissed. And uh, that's a problem. Oh my god. Alright, Estus up here. Nope! <laughs> Tried to parry him again. Well, I guess if I'm going to try to parry him, I might as well try to parry him with a parry shield to make my life easier. Because uh, blocking isn't doing a whole lot for us, I don't think. It's either a dodge or parry, I think, pretty much. Um, hmm. There we go, let's get that on. And I might try, since we don't have really any souls on the line at this point, I might just try running by these Grave Wardens to see see how it goes for us. They are pretty fast, which does concern me, but um, they might back off if we get far enough away from them. I'm just going to come up here. Seems like maybe they did uh, back off. Come up this way. And I think we just go through... Oh, yeah, go through here like so. Kill that guy, I guess. It's because we can. 
And uh, let's get through the door. All right, so we're not gonna have any bleed for this one, but that's okay. Put on like some fire or something. I think I bought some fire pine resin, but I'm not gonna sweat it too much here. Nope. <laughs> get the fuck out. All right. Nope. Oh shit. <laughs> I'm 100% sure that I, uh... That I was rolling when he did that, but okay. Unfortunately, I don't think we can knock him off the edge or convince him to, to knock himself off the edge. That would be nice. There we go. Probably gonna top myself off here. Alright, a little distance. Just flailing. I don't have his timings down at all for this. All right. Cool it for a sec. There we go. Easily done. We are doing very little damage on these parries, unfortunately. Uh, can't get grabbed by that. That one is easy enough to uh, to parry, though, so that's good. That's something. <laughs> In our corner, at least. Get a follow-up on him. Can't parry the charge. <laughs> Sit down. I'm gonna take this opportunity to Estus real quick. Ooh, got lucky there. Started flailing again. Got a... Gotta take it easy, just keep it cool, relax, everything's fine. Alright. Can't parry that. Oh, and then there's the shoulder. The shoulder is instantaneous. Ooh, man, I'm having a really hard time with this boss, aren't I? Should not be having quite this much uh, of a hard time, but he is... He does, once he gets a, gets all red eyes, he, uh, he does get very aggressive. Let's, um, I don't know, we got, I think I did put, put uh, some money into something. Let's use some, use some dark pine resin, maybe that'll work. I have no idea. Still not going to bother to ember, though. Uh, even though it would help, but I think we should be able to do it without. Not sure if we'll have time to, uh... Put on the uh, the resin. That guy's definitely still behind me this time. It's okay. We'll just keep running. Keep running. Avoid the ambush. Avoid the ambush. <laughs> Kill this guy. Come down here like so. Kill uh, nobody because that guy's still behind us. Okay. Should be safe now. Do one of these. Do one of these. He's gonna walk slowly toward us like a cool guy, so that's gonna help. Not sure uh, that's doing us a ton of good here, but uh, we'll uh, we'll see how it goes. Okay, we gotta keep ourselves a little bit better topped off here. I don't know why I missed that parry though. That was. Uh, I guess it went right over my head. Oof. All right. So much for that. <laughs> Jesus Christ. All right. I guess we'll call it an episode here. I apologize that uh, this has been kind of uneventful. I mean, it's a cool area, and there's more cool stuff to be seen, but I'm um, going to have to take a break because I'm um, just getting my ass kicked over and over here. So <laughs> when we come back, we will kill this fucking guy, and we will do it with parries because I demand it. Um... But uh, if I have too many deaths, I'll just cut them out next episode. Uh, and then we'll see what lies beyond. But until then, my name has been Rojo. And thanks for watching.